Hyundai wants us to meet its new baby, Ionic. Well, actually, it's more like the first of many new babies. Ionic is going to be a reoccurring name in electric models, a sub-brand specifically for electric vehicles. And Hyundai says there are a lot of those coming, all based on its new eGMP platform. This is the very first, though, the Ionic 5. The 5 is a compact SUV intended to compete with fellow electrics from Ford and Volkswagen. Because it's built on a platform designed solely for electric cars, it's able to pack a roomy interior into a relatively small exterior package while still offering the comfortable ride quality of a long wheelbase. It can do this because it isn't limited by lame gas engine things like having to fit a gas engine under the hood or a transmission under the floor. Like many new electrics these days, the Ionic 5 is available in a single or dual motor configuration. The rear drive single motor generates 225 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, which Hyundai says will propel the 5 from 0 to 60 in 7.4 seconds. The all-wheel drive motor gets you 320 horses and 446 pound-feet of torque. It's quicker, too. Should be able to clear that on-ramp to 60 in 5.2 seconds. One of the things that you can do when you don't have a transmission tunnel is have a totally flat floor. Um, and that gives you a lot more space. I mean, first of all, there's just nothing up against your, your calves and your knees here. But also it means that you can have a console like this that is very adjustable, can move all around. It goes back like five inches if you want the people in the back to be able to use it, or maybe if you have some sort of, I don't know, a potted plant or something that you want to keep in the front with you. Um, it also comes forward and makes a very nice armrest. Now, I know it is a bit of a cliche for a woman reviewing a car to say, oh gosh, purse room, but oh gosh, purse room genuinely is helpful. Hyundai has some fun stuff in all of its cars and you'll find all of your favorites here in the Ionic 5 as well. For example, if you like the Sound of Nature app, there are other luxuries too, like heated seats or vented seats. Heated steering wheel, that's good. Actually, it's heated and cooled steering wheel. It's very cool. When we finally get a chance to drive the Ionic, I am looking forward to testing out all of the different drive modes. It's got eco, normal, snow, and sport. Sport is always the best mode. One thing I can test right here without having to drive the car is uh, a magnetic board. You can put all of your little favorite refrigerator magnets there. You can write love notes to yourself. Or, you know, if you are going into a parking garage and you get that little ticket that you always lose, you can put it right there. It's, it's silly, but it's kind of neat. All right, so front seat is good and this cooled seat is good. I'm feeling very refreshed. Um, I think it also reclines a whole bunch. Let's see what we got here. It's gonna put me all the way in the back seat. I can just lie back here while I'm charging, which remember it can do very quickly. So like a 15 minute nap and then I'm gonna be up to like 70, 80%. It's pretty good. All right, well, so I can lounge back here in the back seat from the front seat, but uh, I really wanna see what it's like to sit in the back seat, you know, like a normal passenger. Oh, hey, I got a lot of room back here. Look how much room I have in the middle seat because again, flat floor, so cool. Now, if you slid that console back, that would be more of a two-seater back here. One note on this console, which I like so much, it is only available on the limited trim. Uh, there are three different trim levels and only the top of the line limited gets the very cool sliding console. And it gets this like giant glass roof too. Oh, that is totally a hatchback. Look at how hatchbacky that is. And it's 27.2 cubic feet behind the rear seats. Obviously, there's more if they're down. But that is not the coolest thing that happens back here. I have one more party trick to show you. So plugging in an electric car charge port is not very exciting, only this isn't just a charge port into the car. 
It also works vehicle to load out of the car, so kind of like a portable generator that you can just drive around and then plug things into. For example, say you just have an emergency need for a smoothie. You could carry a little blender with you everywhere. Look at that, antioxidant. If you're excited about the Ionic 5, but you wish it was bigger or smaller, more sedan-like, or maybe had a third row, you're in luck. Hyundai says it's planning 23 new electric vehicles by 2023. And we'll also be seeing versions from Kia and Genesis. So if the Ionic 5 doesn't charge you up, stay tuned for more options. And if it does, we should be seeing them here in the States by fall of 2021.